Hey everyone, I was recently helping a friend with a React project, and to my slight disappointment, I found out that the React app was all written in JavaScript. As someone who's seen the benefits of TypeScript, I started to transition some of the React app code base from JavaScript to TypeScript. And I thought I'd share with all of you some of the steps I took to transition to a TypeScript React code base. The first case is mainly targeted for React apps that are created by the Create React App tool under MPX. I started with this case mainly because the React project I'm working on is a Create React App template. The first step is to install two dependencies, TypeScript and Typing for React. The next step is to create this tsconfig.json file that specifies compiler options for TypeScript. The most important line is this JSX line, as it lets the compiler know how to emit the JS file from a TSX file. The final step is to convert your files. Now this step depends on your code, but generally you want to change the JS file to a TSX extension, give your props and other variables types, install types for specific React dependencies, and etc. One thing I found very useful is if you convert one file from JS to TypeScript, your React app will still work, so you don't need to convert all your files in one go. Okay, so that was a quick overview of converting a React project from JavaScript to TypeScript, assuming you're using a Create React app template. Now, what if you didn't use the Create React app tool and started a React project from scratch with your own Babel and Webpack configuration? It's also quite possible to convert JavaScript to TypeScript. I basically follow the documentation of the Webpack site shown on the screen here. Now, I tried this out on a very simple React project, but I assume any React build with a complicated Webpack configuration would also still work. The first step is getting the necessary dependencies to download. You need TypeScript, Types for React, and TS Loader, which is a TypeScript loader for Webpack. The second item you need is to create this tsconfig.json file, and like the Create React App example, it'll configure compiler options for TypeScript. The third item is modifying your webpack.config.js file. We do so because when Webpack generates the build files, it knows to look for TypeScript files and how to compile them. After that, all you simply have to do is convert your files. I left some external resources and more detailed instructions in the description below. This is my own experimentation of doing this transition, but let me know what you all think. I didn't cover other conversions of other React-based frameworks like Next.js or Gatsby.js, but if you want to see that, please comment below. If you like the content and want to see more, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.